On the 17th of May 1996, I was born in a hospital called Alan Brooks. Currently living in my house at the moment is me, my brother and my mum. I don't see my dad very often as he lives in Kenya, which for those who don't know is a country in Africa. I used to live in a bungalow with my mum before my brother was born. The only thing I can really remember about the bungalow is that my room had lots of those little glow in the dark stars in it. I went to two different primary schools. The first one is where I met Dan and Gus, two of my closest friends at the time. We used to be really weird and play silly little games like Evil Birdie, which is basically where we put our hands in our pockets of our coats and made it look like we had wings and ran around the playground shouting, Evil Birdie, Evil Birdie. I'm not sure why we found it so funny, but we still laugh about it now. When Nathan was born, we moved to a new village, which also meant I had to move primary schools, which was very sad because I was leaving behind all my friends that I'd made and had to join a completely new school. I soon made other friends which were really nice and also lived down the same street as me. After finishing primary school I then moved on to secondary school. It was a really big change for the first two and a bit years, I found it quite boring. And then we moved house again into this village that my secondary school was in. We got to choose our options and got to do subjects we liked the most which made it a lot more enjoyable and fun. And I think it's safe to say although I never really liked geography, the class and teacher was the funniest group of people ever. I also did sport as an option, and that was my favourite subject. Along with this, I then became friends with the people who were my best friends, Jack, Jake, Connor, and the rest of our friendship group. Near the end of my time in secondary school, I came across Sam Pepper's channel and subscribed to him. Also, in the related videos were Alfie's videos, and I also liked them and subscribed to him too. After watching these videos, it inspired me to do my own, so on April the 1st, I uploaded my first ever YouTube video. And although it was probably the worst and most cringy video ever, I did keep it on the channel because, well, it was my first ever video. I was then on my six week break before going off to sixth form. I made more videos and slowly but surely the amount of subscribers went up, and also changed my mind on what I wanted to do in my life. Instead of being a sports coach and sports leader, I wanted to have a job to more to do with media as I loved making these videos. I then started sixth form near the centre of Cambridge. Here I do a media diploma and photography A level. Both of these subjects are something I would really like to get into as a career, and my teachers Dan and Nick are great too. I'm also very happy now, I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing in college, and my YouTube channel is doing well too. I'm uploading videos which have an audience of over 15,000 people, which is crazy. And I've also made amazing friends for it too, Harry, Liam, Kernsey, Alfie, Ben, Louie, Ian, and loads loads more. And that is where I am with my life at the moment, and I'm hoping to keep on doing what I am now. And P.S. I'd also like to say there's a lot of stuff I have missed out on this video that I could have mentioned, but I can't fit everyone and everything that's happened in my life so far in one video. Thank you very much for watching, and if you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up as it does really help me out. Thank you. Bye.